is a trailing stop and how to set it? Stop loss is used for minimizing losses if the security price moves in the wrong direction. Once a position becomes profitable, its stop loss can be manually moved to a break-even level. However, a trailing stop can automate this process. This tool is especially useful during a strong unidirectional price movement or when it is impossible to monitor their market continuously for some reason. A trailing stop is always associated with an open position or a pending order. It is executed in the trading platform rather than on the server, similar, to, uh, just like a stop loss. Uh, you can also set a trailing stop by simply selecting the trailing stop in the context menu of a position or an order in the trading tab. Uh, once you do access the context menu for the trailing stop, select the desired value of a distance between the stop loss level and the current price. Uh, you can also use the custom level button to set trailing stops manually. Uh, keep in mind for each open position or pending order, only one trailing stop can be set. All right, so let's show you the two different methods on how to set a trailing stop. I have a position open currently at the moment. I'm long on the December mini S&P from 2143.75. Uh, there you can see visually on the chart as well. The first method, if you go within your trade tab in your toolbox, you can right click on the open position with your mouse and within the context menu, you'll see trailing stop. And this is where you'll set the value. So that would be uh, one and a quarter, two and a half, 3.75, five points, six and a quarter, and so forth. Now, if you don't want to use any of these preset values, you can go to custom and you can go ahead and set the values yourself. A note that I'd like to bring up, as I mentioned, similar in the the take profit stop loss function, the points, if you notice there, that doesn't mean 25 points, that actually means one tick. So it takes a little getting used to seeing that. If you use the up and down arrows, you can see that we all know that mini S&P moves in, in quarter increments. So this would basically mean that that's two ticks right there. That's three ticks, that's, that's a full point, five ticks, six ticks, and so forth. All right, so you could set it there if you don't want to use any of the presets. That's one way of setting the trailing stop, another way is by accessing the context menu of the position display right on the chart. So you can see here the position display. There's the drag to modify function, which is letting me know that the mouse cursor is hovered over the position display. Right click with your mouse, and then you can see trailing stop, and you have the exact context menu that I just demonstrated. So same concept, if you want to use any of the presets, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, go to custom, and you can go and set your trailing stop manually. All right, if you don't Let's say you have a trailing stop in effect and it's it's working and you want to delete it, then you would just do this. You can actually go here, trailing stop, and you'll see delete all, and this will basically allow you to delete the trailing stop. And that's a pretty quick uh, introduction there to the trailing stop function within MetaTrader 5. If you have any questions, please contact us. We are a 24-hour support team, 312-893-6400, extension 1. Gets you transferred directly to our help desk. We're available 24 hours a day, so as long as the markets are open. Uh, definitely visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you very much for listening in. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. And happy trading.